When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. All right, I, I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. A lie. Then we can clean him and cook him together. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. <laughs> this is a surprise. Come back later, Toad. I have stuff to do. Wait, wait, wait. Another second, all right? I'm just trying to do a bit of business. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well that sounds like a your problem problem uh, to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? <sighs> Guess I don't know. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The Crooked Man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave I the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? I never take the blood money. you kidding me. Why is blood money the only way I, I make money? Oh, shit. I thought I still had... Uh, Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. All right. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? <laughs> no, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. Who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. There's always the farm, hell yeah. Believe me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. You play games with me, boy? Look, what? I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the Crooked Man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the Woodsman's Axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The Woodsman's Axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. Tell me about <laughs> these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, 
and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Bad stuff? You mean he kills him? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. At least, that's what I heard. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so uh... Y'all better not say that that mess on the back of the wall back there looked like me. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Stop, so uh... Close. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Huh? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. I love how everybody tries to keep me from looking around in their store, knowing What's damn the well anvil for? they hiding stuff. Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? Yeah. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Yeah? If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. That wasn't rhetorical. The Headless Horseman. Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. Bigby, why are you even wasting your time asking that dude? Just, just, just keep examining. Okay, what is that? Um, what is this over here? Recent acquisition. This must have been where the Dax was. Where are you going, Jack? Cleaving axe, previous owner of the woodsman, and scrolled by the druids. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Motherfucker lying. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really? Look I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? That might have and been... it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just that's gonna... my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... I'm the guy that keeps shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who we'll closed the fucking gate? Jack? Ugh. If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Who Grant is this? said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high, we should keep demands to a minimum. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Yeah. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his you... axe even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? 
Man, shut up, C.K. Lewis. And you. <laughs> I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna- Oh, you piece of shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They about to throw putasos, but I need to figure out what, what's going on. What's going on it for? Hold up, what is that donkey skin talking about? Hide in plain sight. Only the truly beautiful will fully understand the power of a coat that makes it wears appear ugly. It is the power to be invisible while still being seen. Unfortunately, its value can also be hard to see, but it is still a magic coat and to some collectors, that is enough. The Jersey Devil. <clears throat> Not all of the fables who come to this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the farthest corners of the earth, and th there are those who simply prefer the Garden State to the Empire State, such as the Jersey Devil. Reports of its appearance have varied, although most accounts make mentions of leathery wings. But an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. Okay, what is this down here? Life on the farm. What? I don't care about that. Okay. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out! Nah, I'm gonna restrain Jersey. You've been disrespecting me. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? He is Where's disrespectful. my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Oh, sock him then. Big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little Damn. sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Oh, this yeah. Gonna go like it went. Oh, oh, yeah. You fucking. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Fucker. My fucking pot. Not now. What's me? You got a lot of nerve. Okay, this is this is what I was waiting for because. Um. What the hell is that, Slenderman? Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, sit down, bitch. What's up with you? I'm right here with it. I'm right here with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you gotta go way faster than that. You countered my shit. Oh, stop it. Get back. No, nope, you're not hitting me. I'm gonna sock you in the face. Uh huh. Big ass. Big ass. They got a shark nose. You look like a damn. You look like a damn bison. Skeleton bison, bitch. Oh, he just rip out his ear. Oh, oh, that's that's the third body, second body you caught. Oh, okay, he's not done yet. Oh. 
turned up. Oh, he turned up. I did. Smash X. Smash X. Get him off you. Hey, asshole. I found her. He's our only lead. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, he, oh, he wanted him to kill him. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough, right? Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? There you oh, go. I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens. Oh, goblins. The fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh! oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or I'll come back here and finish the job. You hear what I said, no bitch? You Mitch. got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's... Nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Oh my that gosh. So they boys now? You ain't even gonna offer him a smoke? Man, give him a smoke. If it wasn't for you, that dude would have beat your ass in there earlier, or, or Jer Jersey would have mollywopped your ass. Thanks. Goody brand. Everybody's saying that, like, it's not... You're welcome. Uh, right? What is a good cigarette brand? I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. He wanted to be my friend so bad. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. Get the fucker who did it. Straight up. Ain't that the plan? Believe me. That's all I've been doing this whole damn time. Alright. Go do it then.
Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. He gonna end up bodied later. I'm already, dog, I feel it. I just feel it in my bones. Let's get over here to this, uh... <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? Do what I want. Who's gonna stop me? Ain't nobody even in here. Where somebody would tell me to put on my huff and puff? You gonna buy me another one? Huh? Wow, the one time I can stop smoking and I and I don't stop because I wanna break the rules, but I'm probably killing myself even more now. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I'm picking at the skin on my right. toe right now. Just letting y'all know. That's why I keep reaching down there like that. I'm not, I'm not scratching no dingling. I'm just picking up my toe. It feel good. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Man, just ring the bell. Guess oh, yeah, don't ring no bell. Don't, don't alert nobody. Let's just make it happen. Oh. Big B Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Uh, who did what you just call? I just have to go see. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, open that up. Big B, I'm gonna need you to... Okay, he's seen it. He's seen it. Shit. Yeah, he, 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 he's setting off alarms, dude. Oh, this is active. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Hold up. Who in here? Stay quiet. I, I've got a bit of a mess back here. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Don't say nothing, Sheriff. Follow his voice, though. Damn it. Don't say nothing. Mm. Come on, find him, find him. All this meat, damn. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big B. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. Damn. What would you do? 
It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Make so me I turn around before you take off running. Stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there. Shut up. If I see a bunch of hanging. If I see a bunch of hanging human carcasses, I'm gonna get demonetized. I'm already done. They got a real lab over here. What y'all be cooking up in here? What is this? Some breaking bad shit? Are you Heisenberg? I am the one who knocks. Well, that's what that light means. Run. That's what that button was for. Okay. He sat up here and bullshit it. Give him enough time to get out of here. I know I shouldn't have, I, I shouldn't have let him talk. I should have just opened up the door and bust up in here. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. Stop it. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. <sighs> Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. <laughs> you come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying, Mmm, mmm. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What is this lab though? What, what are y'all cooking? What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Shackles on my feet so I can dance. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. So the crooked man gives you a loan. Just to control you, it sound like. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Man, shut up and let me work. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and 
any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. What the hell is that? Whose coat is that? That looked like a uh, Bloody Mary's. I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Damn, triple pocket. No time for traveler's checks, huh? No, keep that though, keep that though. We, we've been you needing won't money. We needing this anymore. <laughs> I said lots of money. That sick piece of. What a weirdo, man. The crane. Ugh. I'm mad that mess was true. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Oh, we can find out where hey, the Crooked Man is now. On. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Come work for me. Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. You're welcome. Just don't lie to me next time I come up in this motherfucker, because you push that button on me again, that'd be the last... That, that, that'll be the last button you ever push. Hello! All this man want to do is chop meat. <laughs> he said, give me my life back. It was fun when it was just me and cow carcass. Now I'm back here with human flesh. Fable flesh? Give me my fucking burgers back. Tips. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Yeah. Yeah. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Bitch. Bro. Lufkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. There we Good go. Good work, Bigby. Thank you. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report <sighs> back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. The crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. Smash. That's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Hold on, I have more to tell her. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> this! <laughs> he said this, nigga. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for an hour. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I Damn. think I already know the feeling. <laughs> well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, 
He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Oh, I was like, who is Bluebeard talking so to? What do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't Lord. take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... Arguing over they're money. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I really, I'm really trying to like drop. Come here. Hold up. I thought I made myself very I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Ooh. Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. I meant to push triangle. Oh, I see I've given you something to think about. Now let me add another log to that fire. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. No, don't do that. Glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. No, it's not right. It's burdening the weakest of us like this. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, it's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted, and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Bro, I'm really getting fat. Oh, my stomach hanging over my... Hanging over my belt lining. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> good cop, bad cop. We'll deal with it later. You the bad cop. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. Just said that. So what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or Maybe they're just trying to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Let's go. I Let's have go. to say I have been better, but thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, out. I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Nice, she got bars. Yeah, I wanna see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. 
Oh. Cause she she can she can go through mirrors. She about the Not again. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? She really Looks just like we'll cooked have to you. track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. <laughs> Damn. Come Perhaps on, Bigby. I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Buffkin and Rowan, that's why. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. That's at the club. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. Oh, never mind. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. All right, I, I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. One more episode. This is crazy to me. Wait, is this the final episode? Oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not. But you know I'm gonna cut it off right here though. No, I'm not, I'm too immersed, I'm too immersed. Let's go, Big B Wolf. Getting up out of here. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. Who? I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street, but you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Who is Tim? Did we see him earlier on in the story? Hold on, let me check the fable book. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, it's nothing I care about though. I wanna know who this dude is, Tim. Maybe he's somebody I put, I took to the farm. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not, he's not as bad as you think. We'll see. 
He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. Mm. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. All right, all right. Thanks. You about to start crying back there? Calm down. Fucking joke. What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah. Tell me who the fuck is back there. I'm scared of you. I I don't exactly know. I I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is there. around, and I came before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. You got time for this? What the fuck? Holy shit! I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no idea so right, he would- Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. This but you did fine. You can go now. This motherfucker needs sleep right now! You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. He trying so hard to avoid that Fetty Wap. <laughs> he go like this every Why don't day. You have a seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> um, smoke some. Show him that you just don't give no fucks. You don't respect him, his rules, his house, his gang, his bitch. That's not his bitch, that's his, that's his lady. Who need it? Please don't end the episode right there. Oh my gosh. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> Alright, I'm actually curious about these 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 choices. Did you send Colin to the farm? Uh we all thought he shouldn't go. Did you attempt to remove Narissa's ribbon? You and 36% of players tried to remove the ribbon. Well, where's the shot? I wanted I wanted to get her to talk. <laughs> Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 36% of players went to the lucky pond first. Um yeah, I wasn't about to listen to, to Beast. He well I don't know, I guess. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 73% of players decided Toad should not go to the farm. Why would I send Toad and his little kid to the farm like that? I'm not a monster. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 43% of players lit a cigarette. Swag. No, I'm just playing. It's not that scary. Yo, I think that means that we have one episode left, which is two videos. Y'all know how I do this. Um... So the Crooked Man is his own character. I, I don't know why I expected the Crooked Man to be like one of the characters we've already seen. 
But let me just see if he's in the fable book yet. He is. There you go. What is this? Hold on. The Crooked Lair. Headquarters. Occupying a a sanctified church. This is just one of many locations the Crooked Man's operations... The operation the cricket man's operation uses to run the Fable Town underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you're an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world, and the only way in is through one of the many portals, marked by a door with the cricket man's Catherine Wheel icon, scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. Ooh, the cricket man got his own Wait, does everybody have that? Okay, now I'm tripping. What is this? Bluebird's money. Fable Town exists to insulate him from the Monday world. As much as his money can be a sword, it can also... Blah, blah, blah. Don't nobody care about your money, dude. <clears throat> the Crooked Man. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with the Crooked Sixpence and a Crooked House. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web. Look at his eye, dude. The Crooked Man has uh, ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. I like this music. Yo, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want more videos, wait, hold up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Um, before I go though, I'm going to play, uh, I got an e- Well, I'll talk about the emo that I got in the actual video itself. But I'm gonna be playing Uncharted on this channel. Thank you. I'm gonna talk to you next, next video, bro. But thank you for, for sending me that email. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that like there'll be other stuff on the channel. We've we've kind of been Telltale crazy these past couple months. I love Telltale; it has the Marshall stories, but this one is a little bit. Mm, no, I'm loving it though. Don't don't get me wrong. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.